Here we're going to tie Anderson's UV Sally. <clears throat> this is a special little fly and it's actually kind of a, I wouldn't say a secret, but it's one that uh, nobody knows about yet. It's a new fly. Uh, it really piqued my interest when I first saw it. It's a really cool little mini stone fly. First thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in the tails, which are just going to be a couple of strands of life flex. And all we're going to do is we're going to tie these tails on each side of the, the body. And we're using either ginger, tan, you can also use orange for the tails as well. Any of those colors will work just fine. I think I'm using a ginger color here. This is more of a natural color. And we're going to tie them in so that they kind of split from one side to the other. You can see how they're kind of splayed away. That's exactly what I want. And then I'm just going to take them forward to make a nice smooth body. <clears throat> and then I could trim out the excess. Now the next thing to do is to tie in the the back of the fly which is going to be a tan goose biot. And we're going to tie it in by the the tip of the biot and we're going to tie it in so that it's centered right in the middle of the fly here. Right on top. And we'll just let it hang there for a second. Now the next thing to do is to tie in the, the rib. For that I'm going to use some brassy or small copper wire. We're going to tie this along the side of the, the fly. And also just let that hang off the, the back. Now the next thing to do is we're going to dub the rear half of the body. For this we're going to use a light Cahill or a cream or a, a, yellow, a light yellow dubbing. I'm going to use a light Cahill. It kind of has a very slight yellowish hue to it with mostly kind of a cream tone. We're going to dub a nice tight rear body here. We're going to go a little bit past the halfway point, but not by much. Right about there is good. Then we're going to take that biot, fold it over, capture it, and then we're going to take our copper wire here. We're going to wrap it around the body. So we'll segment it. Also hold down the, the, the goose biot that we tied in. Now the next thing to do is to start to dub and form the front thorax here. For that we're going to use some tan UV ice dubbing. You could also use gray UV ice dubbing. Both are very similar in color. We're going to dub this nice and tight. Once we've got a little dubbing ball formed, all we did was we made a dubbing ball over our wraps. I'm going to take that goose biot, fold it back, lay down a few wraps. I'm going to trim that goose biot so it just basically reaches over the, the casing. Trim our legs here too. Now the next thing to do is to tie in our first set of 
legs. I'm just going to tie in a piece of same color legs that we used to tie the the tails. I'm going to tie these legs in right at the thorax and I'm going to try to force them back so that they have a slight angle to them and they lay back. I use thread, just build up a little bit of thread right in front of them here to help with that. You can also use some dubbing, which we'll do here in a second. There we go. Now the next thing to do is to tie in our next biot. I'm going to tie it in right in the middle. I'm going to trim that just a little bit shorter than the first biot that we tied in. Take that biot all the way forward. Now we're going to add a little bit more of the tan UV ice dub. Then I can pull that biot back again. And then we can tie in our last set of legs. And you could trim that last biot. Then you could finish off the fly with just a tiny bit of UV dubbing here on the head, just a little bit, just enough to kind of finish things off. And you can trim your legs. Try to trim them equal length. I just kind of eyeball it. I trim them with a the slight angle facing rearward. Then you can whip finish right behind the, the bead. You can see you have that nice split with the legs. Those biots just kind of add a little bit of a hint of casing materials. That's all there is to the Anderson's UV Sally. Great little fly. You can buy all the materials for this fly at in the riffle.com.